Hello everyone! So I am here doing another brand review of a non-US brand that you guys have been asking me to do. Um, this next suggestion for a brand review comes from Trudy and she, oh here I didn't edit this. Hang on one second. This is actually for Akamuti. Don't know how to pronounce that. But let's go ahead and click on it and start the review process. Alrighty, so we are diving right into the essential oils. It looks like they offer other things as well, but this link is right in the single essential oil. So this is right where I like to be. Let's zoom in a bit for those of you on mobile. Looks like these are organic essential oils. Let's take a look at the grapefruit and see what they have listed here for safety information. Okay, so they have a description. They're just telling you what um, grapefruit seed extract. Okay, so this is grapefruit seed extract. So this is different than grapefruit essential oil. This would be more of a carrier. So let's take a look at Ylang Ylang. This essential oil has a very low topical max, which it looks like they understand because they're recommending four, drop, four drops in a tablespoon. So that is good to see. It does have a low topical max. Um, this is just a description about Ylang Ylang essential oil, recommending on how to use it. I like seeing this. So I'm gonna be looking at what their recommendations are to see if they do line up with safety recommendations. Spearmint is another essential oil that has a very low topical max. It looks like they're recommending diffusing this. So it looks like somebody understands that this has a low topical max and it needs to be used with caution on the skin. And they're like, you know what? Let's just recommend they diffuse it and then we don't have to worry. So that is good. Definitely not a bad thing. Let's click on rosemary and see if they recommend, okay, unsuitable for pregnancy, um, high blood pressure, epilepsy. I would agree with the epilepsy, but essential oils do not affect high blood pressure or blood pressure at all. And as far as being safe for pregnancy, it is safe for pregnancy. Um, there are different kinds of rosemary. But if this is the camphor rosemary or the cineal rosemary, it's going to be safe for use during pregnancy. Now, if this is your typical rosemary essential oil that is high in 1,8 cineal, then it's not recommended for under age 10 years old. And that is, again, due to the 1,8 cineal, which is high, um, can have issues with slowed respiration and labored breathing with children under the age of 10. And I'm not seeing that they're letting you be aware of that. They do mention that it's strong, potentially aromatic, or potently aromatic, I was gonna say, all essential oils are aromatic. Potently aromatic and not suitable for use on the face or near the eyes. Okay, let's see what else. Peppermint is another one that you have to be careful with children under the age of six, which I'm not seeing here. It does say unsuitable for pregnant women, which is not the case. It is safe for use during pregnancy. I'm not seeing any description down here about peppermint essential oil. So it does look like they're lacking on that. Patchouli, rose, sweet orange. Myrrh is one that you do need to avoid using in pregnancy or during pregnancy, which I'm not seeing that they have here. Okay, they're not recommending avoiding during pregnancy, but they should. Lime is phototoxic. And I'm not seeing that they have that here. Also needs a very low topical max, which I didn't see. Lemon is another one that's phototoxic. I'm not seeing it here on this profile. Ha, here it is. Lemon is a phototoxic oil. This means it may cause a skin reaction if the skin is exposed to sunlight soon after applying lemon essential oil. Well, it's more like it can even be 12 to 18 
hours after applying lemon essential oil that it can actually give you a phototoxic reaction. Um, but they do say that it's phototoxic, which is good. Good to see. Let's see. Grapefruit is also phototoxic. Let's see if they have that flagged here as well. Nothing here at all. Okay. So they need to be a little bit more consistent on their information and their safety information and any information at all. Um, I think eucalyptus we've looked at already. It probably wasn't the organic kind. Cardamom is another one that's high in 1,8-cineol and should be flagged for children under the age of 10. And I'm not seeing that they did. Okay. Well, let's take a look and see if they have any blends. I don't know what aromatic pulse points mean. Rollers. Okay. So they do have a blend. Okay. So let's see. Flyaway bug. Let's see what's in their bug blend. Um, apricot kernel oil. So it is diluted already. We don't know what the dilution is, however. Citronella has a an 18% topical max, so we don't know if that's being honored in this blend. We have lavender, we have eucalyptus, which is for ages 10 plus. So this blend could be um, safe for ages 10 and above. Although, you know, citronella isn't bad. That is a pretty common one that people use for um, bugs, even though lemon eucalyptus really is amazing. So this is flower power. We have Ylang Ylang, which does have a 0.8% topical max. So if you are using this topically, which they're clearly recommending, um, don't know what their recipe um, percentages are for Ylang Ylang, if they're honoring that topical max in this blend or not, not sure. Patchouli is anticoagulant, sweet orange, um, geranium. This does seem like it would smell great. So if they have this in a blend that you can maybe add to your diffuser or your inhaler, that would smell really nice. But as for a roll-on, I'm not sure about that. Okay. So if you have any questions about anything that I've said in my review for this brand, let me know. If you have questions about a blend I didn't click on, about a single essential oil, please also let me know. And just to remind you, you can look up the safety of any of the essential oils from any company to assess, this, to assess the safety in either essential oil safety files or essential oil profiles, both of which can be found at ueoslibrary.com so that you can do your own brand reviews as well. So I will be taking a bit of a break. I don't know, I've done what? eight to 10 this morning, maybe? I don't know. I've done a lot this morning, so I'm gonna give my voice a little bit of a break before I jump back on and go through your post with all of your suggestions for brands for me to review for you. I am really happy to do this. It's super fun for me to do, and it looks like I'm gonna be taking several days in a row to do this because you guys have a lot of brands for me to check out. So I look forward to doing more after I give my voice a little bit of a break. So I will chat with you guys later. See ya.